happening, guys? This is the Grand Master of Faster, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. And in, in the last episode, we traveled to the land of Subrosia for the first time, and we found the Temple of Seasons. Inside, we managed to obtain the Rod of Seasons and infuse it with the power of winter. But first, a Gasha Seed. As I was saying, in this episode, we are going to travel through an area named, oh so appropriately, the Woods of Winter. Now, as you can see, there is a pond that we are unable to cross because we cannot swim yet. Eventually, we will be able to. But what we want to do is we want to hop atop that stump and swing the Rod of Seasons. Presto changeo! It is now winter! And since it's winter, um, the pond has been frozen and we can walk across it without any danger. Alright, so, uh, by the way, over here is a fairy fountain, just in case you need it. So how's everyone's day been going so far? Mine's been relatively stable for now, but, um, it is mid-November, and finals are fast approaching. Needless to say, I'm not looking forward to it. Then again, what college student does look toward look forward to finals? But anyway, uh, the year has been going rather well, I guess, and um, trying to get a, trying to get projects done, the usual spiel. One good thing I can say about my major is that there, I don't, unlike several college majors, I don't have worksheets that are assigned daily. My major is more based around projects. Okay, fine. I, I'm a, my, the technical name for my major is digital media production. I specialize in the area of radio, film, and television work. And it's really, really cool. I like it a lot. In fact, I'm pretty sure you know this, but I've been on the radio before. I've been a radio DJ, and it's pretty cool. But anyway, we had to change this, uh, back to the game. We had to change the season to winter because her ha this house would have been blocked. But now that winter has come and snow has piled up, let's make like Santa Claus and fall down a chimney. Here comes Santa Link, here comes Santa Link, here comes Santa Link tonight. This girl is Holly and she's angry at us, but she gives us a shovel for our delight. Yes indeed, we now have the shovel. Now start digging. I don't need to explain the shovel, do I? I mean, it's a freaking shovel! Alright, so, whoa, almost got hit by that arrow there. Alright, if memory serves, yes, there is a, um, this uh, tree does lead to an old man. Now, I'm only going to show this off once. Some old men will actually take rupees from you so that they can fix their door. This one only takes 50, fortunately, but yeah. Uh, sometimes they can be... Sometimes they can actually... Did you hear that? That was me doing a facepalm. Because Maple was flying. And I didn't bump into her because I'm an idiot. I could have bumped into her and given the Lon Lon egg in order to proceed th with the trading sequence. But I didn't because I'm a moron. Why am I sucking so much? Well, I can ask myself that later. Anyway, these trees are blocking our way. But if we change the season to winter, Looky, looky, the leaves have fallen, and we can move on. So we want to head right up here, 
and use our new shovel to clear all the snow out of the way. Oh, levers! Ah. I've never liked levers. They're always annoying. Okay, good. I'm back up to full health. Ah! I see a familiar sighting from our days in Labrina. Yes, indeed! They are... They are mystery seeds. What they do is a mystery. Try them on many things. Open your seed satchel to use them. Yay! But anyway, let's uh, equip the mystery seeds and see what this owl statue has to say. Turns out he says exactly the same thing as it did in Oracle of Ages. Although to the game's credit, I guess you could expect that if you decided to play Seasons first. But anyway, let's proceed to the second dungeon. Yes, I know, we're at the second dungeon already. How's that for awesomeness? Ladies and gentlemen, presenting... Level 2, Snake's Remains. And there are definitely some snakes in here, believe me. Okay, so first we want to head to the left and yikes, avoid those blade traps. Alright. Oh goody, our first chest. I wonder what's inside it. It's only five rupees. Well... If that isn't anticlimactic, I don't know what is. And true to the dungeon's name, there are some snakes. Or ropes as their... Or ropes as their actual name are. Although, let's face it. Snakes Remains sounds much cooler than Ropes Remains. I mean, you're about to enter a dungeon filled with monsters trying to kill you. And there is no dungeon that strikes terror there is no dungeon name that strikes terror into the hearts of adventurers such as Ropes Remains. But fortunately, it's snake not rope. Anyway, enough of my rambling. We want to light both of these torches in order to um, open the way. And I can't remember if those Oh geez, they are tra they are traps. Okay, yeah, you'll want to dodge those uh, fireballs they pitch at you. Ah, even more snakes. One, two, three, four. I have seen those ropes before. So push that block and you will get the compass. Very nice. All right, and now oh, six treasure chests here. How interesting. Anyway, let us proceed. And if we head up here, we can find even more enemies. Once again, we have the enemy scenario here. There is a locked door, but we're going to uh, take care of that later. But for now, take a good look at the formation of these blocks. It looks like an arrow pointing to the wall. We want to equip our bombs and throw one at that wall. Turns out, there is a secret room containing money, 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 money. Holy smokes! That is a lot of cash. Two hundred and thirty-eight rupees, to be exact. But anyway, let us unlock this door. And, uh, whoa, hard hat beetles. I'm not big fans of you guys, so... In fact, you guys are the pits, if you know what I'm saying. Now, if we go to the left, we can see that there are two moblins here. You could just... You have to use your bombs since you can't jump over the pit, but... To make things a little easier, I'm going to stun them with the boomerang first. Okay, one down and one to go. Come on. There we go. One more bomb, and he's out of here. And once both have been dispatched, open this chest to get the power. 
power bracelet. Hold the button and press the D-pad to lift heavy objects. Yeah. A classic 2D uh, Zelda item, the power bracelet. In fact, I don't think it's appeared in any 3D Zelda game. Um, oh wait, actually it has. You do get them relatively late, I might add, in Wind Waker. Although there are two, although, although they're known as the power bracelets. But anyway, we got the dungeon map, which is nice. And if we check the map, we can see that the layout does indeed look like a snake. So it's good to know that um, Oracle of Seasons has its dungeons, has dungeon layouts that pertain to the name of the dungeon. All right, there we go. Let's eliminate you guys. And push that block so the formation is symmetrical. And a zoom! Whoa, giant blade traps. Why am I not surprised? All right, here's a key, which we're going to need. Okay, now I have a decision to make. Okay, I'm gonna go down. And we have these enormous columns that can only be pushed if you have the power bracelet. Uh, they do go back, they do move back on their own, so take care not to get squished against the rock, against the blocks when you move them. And we are outside! Hmm. Okay, so what we'll want to do is we will want to open this treasure chest to get a Gasha Seed, and now it's time for us to head back into the dungeon. Okay, uh, there is a Deku Scrub here, he's gonna offer, he's going to sell you bombs, but I really wouldn't, uh, worry about that. Uh, seven should be enough, I think. Okay, now, in this room, you'll want to move quickly, and you'll want to get to that chest as fast as you can, because if you take too long, the chest will vanish and you'll have to exit and re-enter the room if you want another shot at it. Okay. Almost there. Got it! And inside is a key. All right, so now that we have two keys in hand, let us head back the way we came. How are we doing for time here? 13 minutes and 15 seconds, that's not too bad, but I think I will have to end the video pretty soon. Okay, I think I have just enough time to uh, fight the mini-boss, because he is coming up rather soon. Alright, let's head up here, and uh, avoid the hell out of those blade traps. And let's use our last bomb to destroy those blocks. Alright. Okay. And oh, whoa! Thwomp! I forgot that guy was there. Oh, and we also have Thwimps. Just run down there non-stop and they won't hit you. Okay, we're up to 14 minutes. Um, yeah, I think I should have enough time to face the boss. Or, the mini-boss, I should say, because he's coming up soon. Alright, open this chest and get, uh, ten more rupees. Okay, we have some more columns here, but be mindful of those pits. You don't want to fall down. Oh, oh, oh that was close. Ugh. All right, now that the keys have been destroyed, let's unlock the door and fight the mini-boss. And uh, I'm gonna need my bombs for this. Oh, hey there, Facade! I haven't seen you since Link's Awakening. Yes, Facade has been demoted to mini-boss status. And he's got a few new tricks this time. Uh, as you can see right there, he'll... He'll send... He'll spit fireballs up in the air and have them land on you. 
He can still use his, uh, he can still use, uh, he can still open pits in the, uh, he can still open pits in the floor, like he's doing right now. And the other thing he can do is drop spiders. And he's already dead. <laughs> it looked like he was crying in pain. But anyway, with Facade defeated, uh, the portal is... has appeared. So, next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, we are going to continue exploring Snake's Remains. Once again, please be sure to leave a like or comment below or subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. See you guys next time.